Alright, hello and welcome everyone to another Warframe Builds video. So today, we are going to be updating Rhino's build, and the reason we are updating Rhino's build is that with the new arcanes that were added to arbitrations, Rhino has a brand new toy, and it's much better than what he has been using in the past. So, well, let's talk about this build, but before I show this build, it is very worth noting that you do not need to invest as much as I have into this build. It can be done considerably cheaper. So let's look at it. Now this build contains two Umbral Forma and two full sets of Arcane Tanker. Now the Umbral Forma and the Umbral Mods being leveled is not the important part of this build, and I want to stress that. You can use the regular versions of these mods, regular Intensify and regular Steel Fiber, and get extremely similar results. The main thing with this build is actually the new toy, which is Arcane Tanker. But we'll get to that in a moment. What does this build do in general? So we have Iron Shrapnel. Iron Shrapnel is going to allow us to refresh our two at will. You can, of course, just put this mod in here unranked, but I like to have the option of dealing a hilarious amount of damage to my enemies with it. Um, so you don't need to rank this if you don't want to, and it'll, of course, help you save on build space if you'd like to use less Forma for this build. But we also have Ironclad Charge. Now, Ironclad Charge is the namesake of this build. This is an Ironclad Rhino build. And this says, whenever Rhino Charge hits enemies, for each enemy, gain 50% armor for 10 seconds. Now, these are both affected by strength and duration, respectively. And this is what allows us to get stupid amounts of Iron Skin, because Iron Skin is affected by the amount of armor that Rhino has. So this is great. Aside from that, we have Transient Fortitude and Umbral Intensify for a solid boost to our strength. Of course, you could go even further with this and use Blind Rage for even more strength and even bigger armor memes, or go so far as to drop Efficiency entirely and drop Streamline for Blind Rage if you really wanted to go for it. But I personally feel that that is unnecessary and really appreciate having 130% Efficiency to be able to use all of my abilities very actively. We're also using Prime Continuity to offset the loss in duration we're going to get from Transient Fortitude, and because duration is just a solid stat for Rhino in general, Umbral Fiber is going to, of course, be boosting Umbral Intensify, but also we get a higher base armor from this, which is going to help out our Iron Skin as well, because we'll be multiplying that with Ironclad Charge. And we have Stretch, and we have Cunning Drift for our range. So, range is really, really nice on Rhino, because it is not only going to allow us to very easily buff our teammates with Roar, but it's also going to give us a very large range Rhino Stomp for when we need it. This is a 40 meter Rhino Stomp that stuns enemies for over 10 seconds. So that's huge, and it only costs 70 energy. That's fantastic. And of course, our Roar is giving us 105% damage increase, which is nothing to sneeze at either due to the way Rhino's buff is applied. So this is all very, very good. And the reason it's formed in this manner and not without the Umbral Forma is because I also needed to fit this buffer build uh because sometimes you need to use a buffer build for rhino this build is of course going to be quite good at taking down eidolons and things of that nature so this is also available but we're mostly going to be talking about ironclad today and let's talk about arcane tanker as this is the new toy arcane tanker says on arcane equip plus 1200 armor for 16 seconds now 1200 armor is quite a bit for this build in the past, for Rhino, we were using Arcane Ultimatum, which says on finisher 100% chance for plus 600 armor for 20 seconds. So we had a little bit longer to use the armor, but it gave us half as much, and we had to use finishers in order to access it. Now, gaining access to finishers on Rhino is considerably more difficult than you might imagine, forcing you to bring a weapon like the Zocti to initiate those finishers on enemies. It also needs enemies in order to work. Whereas, Arcane Tanker only needs us to have access to our Arc Gun in order to activate. So that means we're going to have access to it pretty much everywhere we're going to want to bring Rhino. The main place you're not going to be able to access it is going to be an Elite Sanctuary Onslaught and regular Sanctuary Onslaught, because we're not allowed to use gear there. And of course, the Arc Guns are gear. So, outside of that, you're pretty much going to be totally unrestricted in using this mod. And it is instant, easy access to 2400 total armor because these Arcanes do stack. 2400 armor is a lot, and we're going to show what exactly it does to your iron skin. So, of course, we're using Iron Shrapnel, so R2 is going to be refreshable, which is going to make this very easy to kind of climb the ranks of iron skin. So at the beginning of most missions, you would equip iron skin on Rhino, and you would just get your base value, which in this case is about 5900. 
that's pretty good. 5,900 at low levels is going to be basically impossible to get through, and at mid-levels, it's going to still be pretty tough. But at slightly higher levels, or maybe arbitrations, you're going to want to start at something a little bit higher than 5,900, and Arcane Tanker gives you immediate access to that. So by dropping in your Arc Gun, Arcane Tanker is activated, and then we can immediately just put that away and activate our two. When we have Arcane Tanker equipped with nothing else buffing us, we are at 18,500 Iron Skin. That is a considerable amount of bulk. Enemies, even in arbitrations, even in sorties, even pretty much wherever, really aren't going to be able to get through 18,000 armor as long as you have any kind of self-preservation. If you're just letting enemies attempt to kill you, 18,000 is probably not going to look like a whole, whole lot, but you're still going to survive for a while. So let's get to a level of armor that enemies just can't deal with. Even if you decide that in the middle of getting shot, you're going to go make a sandwich and just like peace out. If you want to come back and be alive, of course, unless you get nullified, let's get to that level of armor because sometimes you got to stand up and stretch and just chill for a second before playing some more Warframe. So let's spawn some enemies in. We'll pause their AI for this. Uh, but of course, we will do the full test without that. So we've got these enemies set up. Let's let's just hit like these left four guys. Four enemies for people who are new to the build is going to be like pretty generally what you're going to see. Three or four enemies. But it's very easy to get much higher quantities uh, of enemies hit with your one. But just with just with the four, let's look at what we get. And you can do the buffs in either order. Your one buff uh, and your arc gun buff. Either way, whichever one is applied first doesn't matter. They're always going to stack the same way. And with stacking them, we are at... 85,900 iron skin. Now, this amount is a lot. This is a considerable amount of iron skin. This is more than you're going to usually really need for kind of anything. Even if we were at like 40k, that would be more than enough. You'd have to reapply it a little bit more actively than you do with 85,000, obviously. But you'd be more than fine doing this on a regular basis in any content enemies will not be able to take you down your main danger is getting it nullified off of you so let's see what these level 80 enemies can do against this level of armor spoilers it's not much it's really uh it's not going to be a whole lot like they can try and we're going to get rid of these ancients because they don't really do much damage anyway and they're going to interfere with this next part but these enemies don't really have much to do here like, this is me letting them hit me. And keep in mind, this is four butchers laying into me. Bombard shooting rockets at me. Like, we have enemies here that do damage. Like, butchers are a death sentence for most Warframes uh, that are on, like, even the mid-level of defense. If you're just letting them wail on you, you're just going to die. Because they do a significant amount of damage. And the best part about this is... They're uh, what, a little, little maybe a little under halfway through now, and it's been a little bit. I'm just letting them do this. So at any time, I could simply back up a little, charge through them, drop down the arc gun, because I still have 30k left, and just reapply. We can just reapply this and get to 136,000 iron skin. So if, if you have any amount of self-preservation, any amount at all, the amount of damage that you're going to take is going to go down drastically, even if you're, even if we're amidst the danger. Like this is just me, just moving around, like r running, running around with these dudes, just in their midst, not killing them, just, just letting them attempt. Like this is with any amount of movement. If you have the slightest amount of self-preservation, th this is about how long you can expect this iron skin to last. It's a long fucking time because this is without doing the thing that we should be doing in Warframe, which is killing all of these enemies. And for that. We, of course, have our three buffs. With 105% extra damage, these level 80 enemies are basically wet tissue paper. Like, even the heavily armored guys, without even building up very much combo, are just going to get evaporated. Like, it's it's not exactly it's not exactly hard to kill these enemies because you're Rhino. You have access to your three, a very, very powerful buff that is for you and your entire team. So, like... I was just letting them shoot me and then doing slight preservation, and I'm still over 100,000 armor. If you want to get fucking huge, this is the build. And it's a, it's a little bit, honestly, 100%, it's a, it's a little bit memes, right? 
it, it, it's a little bit memes. You probably don't need two full sets of tanker. But God, it is really, really fun to use. You could definitely do tanker energize if you're having energy problems, or of course if you're going with the blind rage build, that would be very helpful. But yeah, this is what this is what arcane tanker does to a rhino build. It makes it so much easier to get so much more unkillable uh, than rhino even usually is. So yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed this build's video. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments, and such. Uh, and, uh, we'll f see what the price of tanker goes to together. Cause the last time I did a video that featured an arcane highly, which is arcane consequence, it's fucking price shot up really far. So hopefully that doesn't happen. And then you guys can get your hands on arcane tanker, but yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow.